Okay, here we go again. So we have now round two of our chili eating competition. Um, first heat was won by Cameron Grennan, so he didn't even have to get to the speed round, did really, really well. Took it down in round 10 versus um, Peter Cunningham. So, yeah, it was a brilliant round one. Um, and now we have round two, got a different set of competitors, our next five. And just to sort of preview what we've got in store, we have um, Shahina. We're going to bring Shahina in. Hello. Hey. How good was round one? That was so impressive. I'm still like sort of on a high from that competition. It was excellent. I think everybody expected Cameron to win. But I thought possibly, you know, he might have to go to the speed. He might have to push it a bit. But Peter mm -hmm. kind of took him to round 10. But I think Cameron, Cameron did really well, didn't he? Cameron did excellent. But I think, like, if Pete, like, had taken part in previous competitions, he would have had, like, I think he would have just pushed himself a bit harder. But because when the pain hits you, you think he can't go any further. And that's what happened to him. I think he just kind of stopped a bit prematurely. But I think he could have gone further. But obviously, Cameron, I had my money on him. He, he, you know, he's won a few competitions now. He's good. He's great. He is good. I'll tell you what I don't think they expected was that um, it's not just heat, you know. Those first few rounds, you get hit by a completely different type of capsaicin than you do the mm -hmm. final round. You know, those those first rounds where you're dealing with the jalapeno yeah. and, the, and the mild ones, it's different to what it is with the Reaper, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Like the first few rounds are the ones I find like kind of really hard to deal with. Once you get through there, then you kind of plateau in the fourth or fifth round and obviously it starts climbing again. But you really need like people say jalapeno is really hard. And I agree. Like, you know, you do get it so painful and people going out on bird's eye. I don't blame them because if you've never done it before, the pain is crazy and you don't think you can go beyond that point. And you can when you push yourself, but it is hard if you haven't ever experienced. A lot of people struggling with the floral rather than the yeah. heat, like, mm -hmm. which is basically the, f the intense flavour of those pods. How do, mm -hmm. how do you normally deal with the floral? Do you find that easier or harder than the, um, the heat? You know what, that's one issue that I've always thought that I'm lucky with because uh, a lot of people like John Slow would say, floral, that's it, They're, they can't stand it. That's what gets their gag reflex going. And for me, that's okay, I can deal with it. For me, it's really the heat that hits my mouth, my tongue, uh, my hand when I get the nose floor and stuff. So I have to worry about so many other things. So the floral bit doesn't really hit me that hard. I can sort of, you know, I think over the years I've learned like, just deal with the heat you know you can sort of just think about the end when you get the chocolate milk in your hand and down there <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's let's take a look at the lineup that we've got here tonight mm -hmm. so we have neil childs lee alton david hainsworth dean merrington and angus geo bates so let's start with lee uh sorry neil childs so i don't think either of us know neil childs too well um, I know that I know that he's won a couple of competitions at festivals, um, mm -hmm. so he's going to be formidable. He he is one of the favourites to win this. Do you do you know anything about um, Neil Childs at all? Oh yeah, him and I are friends on Facebook, and we've had a few messages across, and um, and you know I've seen a few of his videos where he's won. He's really hardcore. The guy is something to sort of worry about. He's not easy. He's going to be very difficult to sort of beat. Uh, and he's very good at it. And he keeps a straight face. So he's definitely one of the contestants that I'll be watching out for. And he's great. He's really friendly. He loves the Chile community. So this is great to see him in your online competition. He does strike me as very composed and very concentrated. So. Absolutely. It's a very straight face. And you think he's not suffering at all. And, you know, he does strike fear in me. I'm like, I don't want to go up against him. He's good. He's good. Yeah, he's one of the favourites, definitely. So then we come to um, Lee Alton. Um, now, you know Lee Alton, don't you? You've you've met Lee Alton a couple of times. What's, what's he like? So Lee Alton, I love this guy. He's great. He's so nice. He's like the softest, kindest person you'll meet um, in person. And then, you know, he, he has this ability to manage pots just like, you know, crazy. He's great at it. And um, he's actually won, like, 
quite a few competitions now, uh, a lot of them being at Brighton. He had the bad luck or the good luck, I don't know how to put it, going up, uh, going up, uh, going up against Jack the Hat. He is like a champion in Brighton and he's gone up against him and then uh, he's won some other competitions. Then I had a chance to go up against him last year in Portsmouth. And that was crazy good. I had no idea he was there. I'd actually seen his videos on YouTube winning competitions. So when he was there, I was like, oh, my God. And he said the same about me. Like, I saw you walk through the door, and I was like, oh, my God, the towel's in. <laughs> but he put up such a good fight. We had this intense uh, competition uh, put up uh, by Spice Island Chili, and they had the most amazing peppers in the lineup. And in the end, it was a reaper off. So we were having these reapers because we'd done all the rounds, 10 to 12 rounds, and it was reaper after reaper to see who quit first. And it was in the end, that that's what caused it. Uh, but he is incredibly good. And then I saw him again uh, a few months later and he did the reaper challenge and I was there to support him. Uh, the place in Portsmouth was great. You know, the restaurant they did it, it was great. So it was incredible to watch him. So when it, when you did the reaper off, how many reapers did he did you get through with him? I, I I can't remember exactly. I mean, I'll have to look at my videos, but I think it was like seven or eight that I did, and I think wow. he called it quick at about six. But because that's because he kind of has seen my video doing hundred and five reapers in one sitting, he's like. No, I'm not going to do 105. She can go on. So he pulled it quick. But I really feel like he could have gone further. So he's not going to be a problem for Lee Alton? Um, uh, Lee Alton's not going to be a problem for Neil Charles? Or, oh, sorry, the heat, did you say? <laughs> yeah. Did you say the heat? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's the not going to be a problem for him. Good. Okay, he's all right. Good. So next we have um, David Hainsworth, who we both know pretty well. Um, now, now, David, I know, has won um, a competition, only a small one, in a pub with about six or seven people, but nonetheless, he did win. And I think the final round was something like a Komodo Dragon or um, an Armageddon or a Reaper or something like that. And I know that when we were across at your house, he did a Reaper as well before you did your Reaper Challenge. So he's going to be formidable. He got a few votes as well for people saying that he could win. What, what do you think of David? Well, David is like the dark horse, you know, like you would think, nah, I'm not going to do it. But the way he ate the reaper at my house when I did the 105 reaper challenge, you were there as well. And he was amazing. He just took it really well, a few tears and everything, but he was good and good at it. And I had this feeling that if David sets his mind to something, he, he's going to do well. So, you know, I think he's definitely someone to watch out for. And he's just such a great guy. And he's done so many amazing things for us. I, I really can't wait you know, to see him compete in this. I mean, David does all of the key rings. He does the, um, he does the um, coffee holsters. He's making, he's making the trophy there. So how good would that be if he made his own trophy? Ah, uh -huh. and then he wins it. That's crazy yeah. good. That is crazy good. I'm always begging him for like all these keychains, and I'm always messaging him saying, David, I need this color, I need that sort yeah. of color. And he always sends them to me, even the spoons and everything. He's always looking after me. And for some reason, I think I've ended up being like the curator. So I have got like every single piece of like the keychain, anything he's produced, and the spoon all in all the colors he's produced. I'm very proud of that. And I'm so happy to call him my friend. Yeah, he, d he does an awful lot for the community and sends them to people he's for really free. Good. Send them to people all over the world. There's people in New Zealand, people in South Africa, people in Australia popping up with these keychains, America. Oh, we got that from David. Thank you so much. And it's just random people in Chile community just picks and he sends them. I just can't believe this guy is amazing. Amazing. Good. Okay. All right. Now we come to two people who, um, again, they're more sort of nuke regulars. Dean Merrington and Angus, Angus Giobates. I don't think they've done any live pod eating um, competitions, but they've both done their fair share of things like tuba terror, bite, mm -hmm. or, uh, stuff like that. Do you know much about Dean Merrington? I have watched him a couple of times, actually, uh, doing his live videos on Nuke, and he's great. I mean, the way he sort of perseveres and does the challenge, the guy puts his mind to the mission, he does it. He achieves it. So, you know, I have no doubt today that he's going to do well. I'm very sort of confident about that. When I um, when I set up the competition, I, I said to all of the people who are involved, if you want me to get you any Reapers 
on top of your order um, just uh -huh. let me know. and Dean was straight in there asking for I think it was a, a kilogram of Carolina Reaper so I'm not sure what he's got no way. but um, That's yeah crazy. He's, <laughs> I Clever. think he's got something in store for the Carolina Reapers we'll see so we're going to watch out for the Carolina Reaper record on um, in the future let's see okay. what Dean can do <laughs> okay, and then and then we come lastly to Angus Geobates. Um, so Angus again is um, a nuke regular. I've seen him do various challenges. Um, he does the best. I've seen him get to a certain level and then sort of stop um, through one one way or another. I don't don't know how to put yeah. it, but I think he's the type of person who, on his day, he could push himself and go really far. Um, do you know much about Angus at all? I've seen Angus a few times doing his live videos on Nuke, and he's great to watch. He's very good at what he does. And, you know, what I'm going to say now, when he stops himself in those videos, it's a completely different scenario. You're on your own. You're doing a challenge. You're doing a video. You're on your own. You do what you think you can, and you stop. But when you're in a competition, it brings out a different animal in you. So he may react and may behave in a completely different way to what we're used to. So when you're in a competition against four other people, may bring out the beast in him and he'll push on. And a lot of people do that. When you're in that sort of environment, under those stress levels, you push yourself beyond what you think you can do. So I'm, I'm not going to sort of like say, oh, no, you can't do this or that person can't do that because I have no idea how they will react to that competition environment. So I feel like Angus is going to push himself when he's against other people. Well, according to the votes, Lee Alton is the favourite, followed by Neil okay. Charles, then David Hainsworth, and then Dean Merrington and Angus Bates at the back. Do you think do you think this one could be for a dark horse, or do you think Lee Alton's got this one in the bag? Well, everybody would say Lee Alton because he's had five wins under his belt. So, you know, naturally you'd think, oh, he'll do it. And he is great. Like, I've actually watched him in person. The guy is amazing. He's a bit like me. You know, he suffers. He hasn't got some supreme sort of tolerance to chilies where he doesn't suffer. He sits there like a robot, eating them like a machine. And it's no real competition because if you don't feel the pain, you feel like hard done by. You're going up against someone like who's a machine. But this guy feels the pain like I do. And he pushes himself and he is like me, I think. He does well in the competition environment. So he's definitely one of the favorites. But then there are people who come out of the woodworks. You just never know. Okay. All right. Well, good to hear from you. Thank you very much again. Um we Thank shall you see for having you me again. We shall see you tomorrow night at six for round three. And yeah, Absolutely. take care. Thank you very much. Take good care. Good luck, everybody. Take care. Okay, there we have it. That's our pre-lowdown on the contestants. Let's get the guys in. So first of all, we have Neil. Then we have Lee. Then we have David. Then we have Dean. And lastly, we have Angus. Evening, guys. Evening. Evening. Good. So, obviously, this week you came to the box. You had the chilies and the waivers. You've sorted the chilies. You've got them all right. Everybody's got a good lineup. Everyone looking forward to it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, you, yeah. you, saw, you saw earlier on these, these pods are designed to attack you on the tongue, the roof of the mouth, sides, throat, floral, um, bitterness from the chocolate pods, and then flying heat from the reef. Um, so yeah, only 10 rounds but it's designed to get you from every direction so good luck if you could now find bag one for me and find the red jalapeno that's it, and if you can just hold it up to the camera and just to remind me yeah, that's perfect, Dean. So, just to remind you something that I didn't say before if you could, if you could show the camera where you are with the chilli that would be really appreciated. Just so the audience can see, are you just started it, finished it, or whatever. This is entertainment. People want to see where you are. Right. Everybody ready to go? Yep. Yep. Three, two, one. Okay. 
So we are coming in with the jalapeno at 2,000 to 5,000 Scoville units. It's quite a big chili, so there's a lot of um, flesh there, but it's not too hot. It's a nice one to start. So. How's that, Dave? Fruity? Taste is nice. Very fruity. Very big. I really like eating big peppers. Yeah. So you guys have to give me a minute. Is there much heat to that one, Angus? Not too bad? No, it's nice. That's it, Neil. Done, pretty much. That's it, Neil. Well done. Dean, any heat for you in there? It's not too bad. No. Sometimes you find these jalapenos where they are like really, really hot for jalapenos. But I think these ones are fairly, um, fairly marked. That's it. No. You might, if you can just trim that red off. That's it. Good man, Lee. You've got a good film on there, Dave? Yeah, it's... You need a bit of bacon oh, guys, around it. Fish it, fish 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 it, fish it fish <coughs> good. So, so nobody's dropping out at round one. All good to go to round two. Come on, Dave. I don't need to be <laughs> <laughs> uh, that little piece of red and then you've done that's it well done mate okay, if you can now get out the bird's eye chilies and we're going to go for two of these bird's eye chilies coming in at 50 to 100 thousand Scoville so these are a bit of a different type of heat. It's that quite sharp heat that hits you straight away. If you can just hold them up, just let me know that you're ready to start. Give you a chance to swallow that first round, um, Dave. You tell us when you're done and ready. Sorry, the biggest pair of you're waiting. <laughs> Good, okay, right, hold the um, bird eyes up, and three, two, one, come those chilies. The first lot of guys said that these are quite floral for bird eyes. Normally I'd associate that sort of stingy type of heat that you get as soon as you eat them it's like on your tongue. How are they, Neil? All right. Good, well done. Lee as well. Awesome. <coughs> Dino, how are those for you? Floral or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, they're one for me. <laughs> probably not be Dave, is that both of them? Right, everyone done both? Yeah. Good, okay. All right, so now we move on to round three, which is the Scotch Bonnet Red. Just our first one. Round of applause for Angus. Well done, mate. Got through two whole rounds there. It'll be me next. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. I think that those bird eyes were quite floral. If you're no good with floral bobs, they can make you do. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. So round round three is the um, Scotch bonnet red. This is a it's a, it's a Jamaican type of Scotch bonnet. Quite fruity, quite floral. Ready? Three, two, one. Chomp those chilies. 100 to 350,000 scoggles here. 
Dave, you all right? Have we lost Dave as well? I think we've lost Dave as well. No, Dave, you lost you? Yeah. All done? Sorry, a, a bit came up. That's all right. Round of applause for Dave. Good luck. Wow, they are dropping like flies tonight. <laughs> And then the three. What, it, what is it, guys? Why have them two dropped out? Are they floral? Are they hot? Or what is it? The accumulation things. Yeah. A bit are, we all, off, I think. are we all good, Dean? Yeah, yeah. Okay, excellent. All right, if you can now take out bag two. And we're now looking for the, the yellow one in there, the lemon habanero. Again, this is quite a very floral pod. <laughs> it's the battle of the floral pod today, isn't it? We haven't even got the hot one. Excuse me. Dean, come on, hold it together. We don't want to lose another one yet. <laughs> perfect. Right, is everyone good? Yeah. yeah. Okay, round four, Lebanon Habanero. Three, two, one. Chomp those chilies. That's it. Neil Charles is not messing about right here. That's down. That's floral, that Neil, isn't it? Well, I've had well. a few of the, I've had a few of those on my salad this week, and they are so floral, those ones. Oh, I How's it going, Dean? Good day, Chase. I will. They are so strong, florally. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. If you can just hold me those stalks up, let me know that they're gone. All good to continue. <laughs> Right, so the next one that we're going for is the red habanero. So it's the red one from bag two. Typical one that you would get from your normal grocers, used in a lot of hot sauces, this one, the habanero. Three, two, one. Chomp those chilies. Neil, you said that you'd had a lot of fans who'd be coming in here to watch you. We're up to 72 viewers, so I think you've got your... 20, 30 viewers just in here watching you. <laughs> they just want to see me fail. No pressure, no. <laughs> How's that, Nero? Beautiful. Hot for me. <laughs> that's, a, that's a classic chili, isn't it? The habanero. That is so many people's favourite. <laughs> All done. I think one of the most difficult things with the competitions, especially when there's not too many people, is how one's gone go by. You know, literally as soon as you've eaten one pod, you've got like 10 seconds and we're ready for the next one. Okay, right. The next one we, we do away with the floral and we move the hot ones. And this is the chocolate scorpion. So this one is 1.2 million to 2 million Scoville. So we're moving right up into the new part. This one's bitter, hot, big, and a bit floral. Are we all ready? Three, two, one. Come those shades. That's me done. You know what I think? I've had it, but oh, I need a drink of milk. Round of applause for Dean. Thank you. Wow. Chocolate scorpion, well done, mate. Right, guys, so we are pretty much where everyone thought we would be with you two, with Lee and Neil. 
Was that a bit hotter? Yep. <laughs> Lee, yeah. all good? Yeah, all good, yeah. Yeah, good, okay. All right, so if you can now take, if you can now take out bag four. Well, unfortunately, all of the ones in here are red, so I just need to tell you which one's which in here. So if you take out that bag four, the pointy ones are the ghosts. The dark red smooth ones are the scorpions. Yeah, that's a ghost, I think, Lee. Yeah, on your left, Neil, is the ghost. I think on your right is the scorpion. Yeah. And then the very wrinkly ones is the Carolina Reaper, and the dried ones is obviously the, the dried scorpion. So if you can take out your long and pointy one, the ghost. We, we drop down a little bit here, back down to 850 to a million Scoville, but this one attacks the back of the throat. So this is the ghost chilling. Let us know when you're ready, Lee. No rush. All good? Yeah, Neil, good? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Those chilies, ghost chili, 850 to a million Scoville. Let's actually get the right ticker on. As that, can you actually tell the difference now, or is it just heat everywhere? It's everywhere, the back of my mouth. Yeah. <clears throat> good both done yeah good okay all right so now we move into the curveball round the only round where we're using dried chilies and this is a complete, this is completely different because this is like when you've got no saliva left in your mouth it's like eating a piece of glass and you literally cannot get the pieces yeah. out your mouth All good, Lee? Yeah. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Chomp those chilies. That is tough. That's round and round the mouth like pieces of glass. <sighs> All done, Lee. Good man. <clears throat> Neil, how are we doing? Yeah, all done. All done. Brilliant. Oh. Okay, I can tell this one's going to go. I reckon we're going to go to the speed round here with you two. We've got a few more to do. So round nine is the um, red scorpion. This is one of the hottest two chilies in here. So it's the one that's smooth and it should be, yeah, that's the right one, Neil. And yeah, that's the right one, Lee. Well done. Okay. Are you ready to go? Or do you want a second just to compose? <coughs> you good? Lee, you good? Yeah. Yeah, you good, Neil? Yeah. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Chomp those chilies. A lot of people say the scorpion's got a lot nicer taste than the Carolina Reaper. Carolina Reaper's quite bitter, but the scorpion's got a lot, lot nicer taste to it. Can you tell the difference? Oh, nothing nice about any of them right now. <laughs> <laughs> Good man, Lee. Sporting a um, Spice Island chili t shirt there, I see. Is, is, is he mate yeah. who does Spice Island chili? No, yeah, Liam, yeah. Yeah. Both down? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now we get to round 10, final one. And it's the Carolina Reaper. World Pot's chili 1.5 to 2.2. So it's the it's the very knobbly one in the bag. That's the one, Neil. 
Yeah, and that's the one lane. Okay, are we good to do it straight away? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I feel the making this so quick. <laughs> Normally, you'd get a couple of minutes just of re respite, but because we're down to just two, it's um, pretty, pretty quick fire. Okay, three, two, one. Chomp that chili. Round 10. So this is the final chili of the endurance rounds. So we've moved all the way through the stingy chilies, through the floral chilies, all the way to the hot. And this is the hottest of them all. World's hottest chili, Carolina Reaper. Ugh. When was the last time you had a Carolina Reaper, Neil? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Out of the spares bag? Yep. Neil Alton is ready. Neil, are you ready? Yeah. What are you guys like speed eating? <laughs> right, so if you can take out bag four. There's seven chilies in there, but we're not going to do the Carolina Reaper. We're just going to do the other six. So what you have in there... As long as you're good to go. Neil, you good to do the speed round? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So if you can take if you can take these out, there should be a medium length serrano. Can you see me, Neil? Can you see me? Yeah, I can you've paused a sec, Neil. Uh, Lee, sorry. I'll give you a few seconds just to come back. Yeah, you're back. All right. Okay, yeah, so, so in the speed round, you've got a Serrano, which is a dark green chili, medium length. We have a Shakira. Give Neil a second. Compose himself. Come on, mate, you can do it. These, are, these six chilies are not hot. Well, a couple of them are. <laughs> But at least the Serrano, the Shakira, and the Cayenne are all fairly mild. Then there should be a Scotch bonnet, a chocolate scorpion. And what was the other one that I put in there, Lee? That was it. Yeah. A yeah, bird. So those six. Neil, you're gonna get them out. That's it. Cayenne. Bird's eye, watch bonnet, chocolate scorpion, Serrano, sorry, Shakira and Serrano, and Serrano right? There's six there. Are we both good to go for the speed round? Yeah, feeling great. <laughs> do, you want a, do you want another second just to compose? There's no rush. Take your time. Not right. Yeah? Okay, so just to clarify, if, if anybody is sick during the speed round, the other person wins, no matter where they are in the sixth in the six chilies. So if you're on the sixth chili and the other person is on the first one and you're sick, that person wins. Okay, so you need to keep them down. Okay, you need to show me as you're going through. You need to show me the stalks so that I can see you've got all the way to the bottom. And the winner is the first person to get to the very end and show me an open mouth after the sixth chili. Are we ready? You got your tactics ready? Longs first, small first, big first? You just want me to stop talking and we start, yeah? Okay. Right. Oh. Give me the thumbs up to let me know that you're both ready. We don't have to rush. Okay. Three, two, one. Thank <laughs> you. 
need to make sure every last bit of chili on every single one down to the stalk, not a touch of red and not a touch of green. Charles, well done, mate. Thank you. I thought you were going to bail. I thought you were going to bail a few times there. I didn't even burn, if I'm honest. Got one left. Oh, mate, well done. That was a great performance. Well done, that was a great performance. Well that was so good. Let's bring the other guys in, guys. We have a winner. Neil Charles is our second winner. Awesome speeding ability there, Neil. Never, never knew that would come out of you. Not know me. <laughs> I thought you were going to bail about nine or ten rounds. I don't like bailing. <laughs> no, I could tell. And well done, Lee. That was like proper brilliant job. You could tell you were just like going through them as quickly as you can, but it's, it's hard when you've got a map which is blistering, isn't it? Yeah. They were big, them last ones as well. I think <laughs> Great, okay. All right, guys. Well done. Well done, Neil. That was brilliant. Thank you very much. Neil, Neil you get a chance to do it more in the grand final. Thanks very much. I'm going to put you all out now and see you guys tomorrow night. See you later. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Well done, guys. All right, lads. There we go. One of the favourites, Neil Childs, takes his place in the grand final along with... I can't even remember who won the first one. <laughs> That's how quickly this evening's gone. But we've got two people who are now in the grand final, including Neil Childs. He didn't he do so well at that speed round. That was absolutely incredible. So, um, yeah, well done to both of those. Tomorrow night we'll be back at 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock tomorrow night where we'll have round three and round four, and we'll be seeing who goes into the um, grand final later in the summer. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you.